eyebrows on feet, can't rub it off, no pencil. Used to sing a shanji, baby, 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 baby. Face on garlic, body on blessing. Yeah, she got friends, but. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kim. You know the name. So, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Kim Suave, your favorite girl from Miami. You heard, okay? But today we're just gonna be using the Jackie Ina palette. I got it for Christmas, and I love it. I got it on my lids right now. It's all Jackie Ina. Just the um, my inner tear duct is ColourPop. This video basically y'all gonna be watching me do my makeup. I don't want to say it's really a makeup tutorial. I would just say I'm just doing my makeup, chatting it up with y'all, acting like y'all in my face and y'all answer me back but yeah so i hope y'all like this video i hope y'all like this makeup look if y'all interested in how i got my finger waves that video should also be up by the time you watch this one but your girl is blonde blondes have more fun but let's get into it all right so i just finished my eyebrows and primed my face put setting powder over my primer i only lined the bottom of my eyes because i'm gonna do the top with foundation but anyway let's talk about what's been going on with me so I got this corporate thing, like this corporate little networking event that I got to go to for one of my classes on Wednesday. And I, my hair is blonde, so I don't know how they're going to take that. But then in the back of my head, I don't really care how they take it. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to change my hair color. Or I'm not going to fit into the social norms just for to work a corporate job and... Whoever said I wanted to be a part of the corporate world. You feel me? Like, I ain't never, never in my life, a day in my life, come out my mouth and say, I want to be in the corporate world. Like, if you hear me ever say that, please, please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that's nonetheless. I just hate how you have to fit into, like, to be, have, like, a, how you say, a top tier career. You have to fit like a social norm such as no tattoos, no piercings, just a whole bunch of things that shouldn't even matter as long as you know how to do your job in my opinion. But I'm gonna go to the little career thing. What a little I'ma go to the little networking thing. I gotta fix that eyebrow and then I'ma just put everything I know on the table and hopefully they can look past my hair because I'm not changing my hair color. And I already have a job, so I'm not really tripping if I don't get any jobs there. Hopefully one day society will just allow people to look however the hell they want to look. And stop being so judgy. Because in all actuality, why does it even matter? Why, did, why does it bother you so much that this person's hair is red, or this person's hair is blue, or this person has dreads, or this person has... 50 tattoos or a sleeve whatever who cares <laughs> i honestly want to know who cares why do you care and why is it bothering you so much it like it makes no sense like does it keep you from going to sleep at night like the people want to know i am the people and i Want to know. So I took my um, head scarf off because I had to blend up here in my forehead. Let's go into concealer. We're gonna do eyeshadow last. But yeah, so let me just tell y'all, I feel like we don't really know each other that well. And by we, I mean me and my subscribers. So lately I have, I have been growing fairly quickly and I'm very excited, nervous and excited I would say. I just been praying a lot just making sure I stay sane because you know some people they like pray for like the fame but then they don't pray to stay sane like when the fame comes and not necessarily fame but just like going from a nobody to you probably get stopped at least once or twice when you out you feel me and with that it comes with a lot so I just been praying for me to stay sane. I got on YouTube, I want to say two years ago, because I got on YouTube when I was a freshman. Damn, I wasn't even a freshman two years ago. I was a freshman three years ago. But I got on, nonetheless, I got on YouTube two years ago. Yeah, so when I started YouTube, I ain't know. I knew people was getting paid for YouTube, but that's not why I got on YouTube. I got on YouTube because I didn't have any friends. I still don't have any friends. <laughs> I didn't have any friends in um, school, so I didn't really have nothing to do. And I wasn't working at the time. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just make YouTube videos because I'm bored 
and I have nothing to do. So I'm just making YouTube videos. And my videos, will, they was racking numbers. They are private now, so y'all can't even see them. Because I, I didn't go by Kim Suave back then. And yes, that's how I pronounce it. Kim Suave. Okay? I don't know what's so hard. But I guess, I don't know. But Haitian people, they pronounce it easily because it's like my last name. But anyway, off topic. I mean, it was good, but I didn't really have the passion for doing YouTube. Because like I said, I was doing it because I was bored. So when I got unbored, when I got a job and stuff like that, started like hanging out more with my cousins who was up here at the time. It's like I didn't really need to get on YouTube anymore. So... I just stopped doing it as a whole and then I think when I stopped doing it I had like 400 subscribers and my videos was, was getting like 1k's or something views but so then I ended up getting back on a little bit after that so I stopped two years ago and then I restarted a year ago then I stopped again because yeah I just didn't have I didn't really know what to put out I didn't know what direction I wanted my YouTube to go in I want to say I feel like that's the real reason I stopped because I don't I didn't when I first started I, just, I was just making videos and then when I started again I'm talking like that because I feel like I have to burp <laughs> but then when I started again at that point I'm like okay I could take it serious but I don't know what direction I wanted to go in so I was just like okay I'm not gonna make videos so I had dropped the spring break video for when I went to Miami for um when it was our spring break for FSU and fam week so I had went to Miami did a little video with my friends because I have friends in Miami. I just don't have friends in Tally. Well, I have Serena, but y'all know what I mean when I say I have no friends. But um, don't take it too deep or too literal. Um, the direction I want my YouTube to go in, I know I'm very much so into fashion, as y'all um, probably know if y'all follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. So what I'm working on now, um, in my video where I had went to Miami Art District, that vlog, if you didn't watch that vlog, go watch that vlog so you can know what I'm talking about. But in that vlog, I said that I was working on being an influencer. And I don't want people to think when I say influencer, I mean like IG baddie because that's not what I mean at all. When I say influencer, I mean people who are actually influencers. <laughs> like not people who just take pictures for fun. I don't take pictures for fun. Every picture I take is for me to potentially get paid off it. Okay? I'm all about the money. <laughs> but... When I say influencer, I mean people who like Ricky Thompson, Brett Rock, Jackie Ina, um, Alyssa Forever. Like people who actually do stuff outside of YouTube, outside of Instagram. Like um, I know Alyssa Forever, she had a little panel thing for makeup if I'm not mistaken. Jackie Ina is getting sponsored by so many brands. Brett Rock was acting on a YouTube. Um, Y'all know that the, how YouTube got the little shows thing now, but he was acting on one of them and I didn't watch it because I wasn't going to pay for it. But um, Ricky Thompson is freaking in magazines. Like that's the level I'm trying to be on. I don't just want to be on YouTube. I'm a businesswoman, okay? I'm using YouTube as a platform for me to get um, my name out there more, I want to say. I'm going to start my clothing brand soon, which is going to be called Suave Label, and you can go follow it on Instagram. I already have my Instagram page up, but right now what I'm doing with that page is I'm mostly focused on styling because I don't have my sewing machine yet. I never wanted to be a stylist. I like making people feel good, but as a career, no, I would not um, style people as a career. It's very annoying. You gotta. People always have their own opinions about what they want to wear. A lot of people don't want to step outside their comfort zone. And honestly, I just don't have time for that. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I just want to make my clothes. And I just want people to love it. Like, I already got some designs, like, going already that I want to, like, for my first launch. But I'm just taking it one day at a time. I'm not in no rush. I feel like a lot of the times I compare myself to other people, to what other people doing. And that actually slows me down, I want to say. Because I'll be like, damn, this person made it when she was 20. This person made it when she was 18. And I'm 21 years old and I still haven't even bought my sewing machine yet. And then I just say, Kim, their race is not your race. Okay? You want your own name. So just do what you got to do, and then it's going to be God's plan. I always used to feel like, oh, I don't have to work. Like, my talent will get me where I need to be. Like, I, I just solely was focused on my talent. But talent ain't nothing if you ain't putting in the work. Nobody going to know your talent if you don't put in the work for people to know about it. So that's what my, my YouTube is basically going to be focused around is um, fashion, hair, 
makeup, vlogs of my daily life and just stuff like that. But I'm a fashion girl. I love fashion. I love everything about fashion. I want y'all to come on my journey with me buying my sewing machine and making my first piece and stuff like that. So we gonna see. I'm trying to get it like with Polly. I hope hopefully in February so we could get started because I'm ready to get started. Are y'all ready for me to get started? Just realized I don't even have any freaking um setting spray. But we gonna make it to work. Yeah, so that's just what I wanted to tell y'all because I was looking back at my videos and if I was y'all and I came on my page, I would be like, okay, this is cute, but who are you? <laughs> you feel me? I did a get to know me video, but I feel like it was very much so boring. Boring. I've did several get to know me videos and I've deleted like three of them and remade it. Besides that, what I just said, what else do y'all want to know about me? I feel like everything else about me is pretty much throughout my videos from Miami. I'm 21 years old. I am a Leo sister. Every time I get a subscriber, I get nervous because the main thing I'm scared about for me to get big is I never want to change. Like, of course, I want to elevate, you know, grow. But personality wise, I never want to change. I never want to become a snob because I know, like, I hear a lot of stories about like YouTubers or just anybody famous in general who like get big and then they just like become snobs like assholes and that's not me i don't actually even see myself becoming that person i need a new damn lord mercy i said powder and i have no money <laughs> like i'm tired the first of the month is about to be up again and i'm just tired i'm tired of paying bills like i just want to buy clothes and live my very best life is that too much to ask for do y'all see how selena gomez and justin bieber just like would not let Roddy Rich just have number one and I feel like that's so crazy because any other time like if I bet if Justin Bieber had number one album right now Selena Gomez would not be freaking going to buy her freaking albums and whatever the hell she else she was doing telling people stream they just can't let some like Roddy Rich deserves it I've never even heard a Selena Gomez song do we even look like I listen to Selena Gomez okay <laughs> okay I haven't even checked for Selena Gomez since Wizard of Waverly Place. Okay. With Ginger. Get the palette. You will see. I ain't gonna be doing that back and forth. You need to go support my girl. And get the palette. Just know I'm using Ginger to start that upper crease area. My ass had a wound. But yeah, if y'all wanna know anything else about me. Y'all can always just ask. I am very open person. I have nothing to hide. But yeah, yeah, I just realized like I ain't never really pay attention to like likes and dislikes. But I just realized like the other day I was looking at my get ready with me video that I made like two days ago. Well, I don't know. By the time I upload this, I don't know how many days ago it will be. But that get ready with me that I made, I got that pink font as the thumbnail. Go watch that if you haven't watched it. I got a dislike on that video. I'm like, damn, I kind of made it. Because when you start getting dislikes and stuff, you got haters. Bitch, you made it. You ain't make it till you have haters. And that's a fact. I mean, the people that love you is, like, great, of course. But that's what's supposed to come with, you know, making it. Like, people are supposed to love you. But when you got haters, you made it. <laughs> you feel me? I never see how people can like do one eye at a time. I have to do both at the same time because I am not going to remember what the hell I did on the other eye. Oh, that's just my memory. That's how my memory is set up. How's yours set up? Because clearly you have photographic. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished blending out ginger and now I'm going to go on with big wig. Big wig, okay? Heard you. I heard you, Jackie. Big wig? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Then I'm gonna use that big wig for the outer area so it could be a little tint of purple. This actually doesn't have fallout. Did y'all realize that?
I know she was saying that this palette was she made it for darker complexion girls and it's obvious that she was not lying cuz you did that <laughs> and what else I need to go on with well let's go on with edges and put edges right here in front of that purple Yeah, I cannot wait to move to New York. Like, if anybody know me, y'all know, like, moving to New York is, like, the goal. Hopefully, I pray. I always pray by the time I graduate, my funds can be in order. So then I could just move straight there and not have to go back to Miami. Ooh, manifestation. Manifestation. I'm going to do a cut crease, but then I'm going to um, smooth out the edges and stuff. So, it won't be, like cut because I don't want it sharp I put Sole and now I'm going to go into trust issues. Because all I care about is money in the city that I'm from. I'm going to sip until I feel it. Trust issues seem to be more on the creamier side than the other ones, which is fine. Let's clean up the edges. Go back into big wig. Clean that outside up. Oh yeah, so yeah. I want to be that same girl again because I used to love, like when I first got into makeup, I used to love doing eyeshadow. But then I was like, eyeshadow takes a long time. A long get everything blended and all that extra I was like I'm not here for it <laughs> so then I stopped doing eyeshadow and I should just stop doing makeup as a whole I used to do makeup like for the girls and tally like the little events and stuff and that's one of the reasons I stopped but I also stopped because I ended up getting a job so I was just not as available as I had been before We're gonna go on with ginger from the Suba Saffron palette and we are just gonna put that on our inner tear though. And I did my lashes as y'all can see and then I'm about to do my lip and just gonna be one of the ones that I did for my um a lip combo tutorial y'all can go check those out I actually have two videos of that up and just go watch it you want some good new lip combos some good everyday lip combos go check that video out and y'all we towards the end of the video at this point at this point if you have not subscribed yet what are you doing like I know you like oh I just hit my tone <laughs> but anyway <laughs> I know y'all like me. Just hit that subscribe. Go watch the videos so you can know who I am. I hope this video gave you a general basis of who I am, where I'm from, my age. You feel me? My name is Kim Suave. Say it right or don't say it at all. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it, y'all. On the road to 1.
for y'all. A little overlining never hurt nobody. Black girls, a little overlining never hurt, okay? Just a little bit though, because you know, we already have lips. And this is some lip gloss from the beauty supply store. I have no idea what it's called, but once again, watch my lip combo video and you'll find out because it's in there somewhere. Somebody's playing music outside and they need to take their ass in their house. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm making a video. We are not at the club. And this is just some clear lip gloss I'm putting on top. Y'all know how I get down. Ooh, I need to take a picture. I know y'all look so good. Y'all just need to take a picture. Me, right now. IG, I haven't posted on IG in a minute. Let me take a picture. Let me take a picture. I like this. This is cute. Y'all see the lids? Y'all see it? Don't I like you don't see it? 